Hello everyone, Jack here. Welcome to a short review of the Game of Snones adventure. Yeah, do I really have to explain to you what that reference is? So one of the things that the Great North has lacked is just a lot of cartoony weirdness. And I think this episode actually did a good job of incorporating that into the show. Of course it was in a very usual way, but I don't blame it for that, for being down to earth. Because we just have Beef, who is sick with a cold, take three doses of expired cough syrup, and he starts to hallucinate snowflakes everywhere. And I just felt that that bit helped the episode so much, because it gave us something that really wasn't predictable. They could have gone anywhere with that. As for the plot, it's pretty straightforward. The Tobins are having a game night, but there's a blizzard. And Beef is concerned that the family is drifting apart because Wolf and Honeybee aren't there for every single family thing. Yeah, I'm not kidding, he freaks out. But they're in Alaska, so really, what else does he have to freak out about? So first Wolf and Honeybee get lost in the snow, then Beefu goes to find them, then Judy tries to go find Beef, and him and Moon are supposed to stay tethered to the porch, but they don't listen to that because they're children. So everybody becomes lost in the blizzard, and fortunately they gave Honeybee a good role in this episode, even though she's a fish out of water completely in Alaska. She's able to find her way around, and is able to locate the tool shed where she gets a generator going and basically saves the family from freezing. Yeah, surprisingly, Wolf and Beef didn't even have gloves on. And Wolf didn't even have his hat, I mean, come on. And Judy says they were out there for three hours, so really, if this was real life, they'd be coming down with frostbite by now. But those minor nitpicks aside, I thought this was a really good episode of The Great North. You have the emotional conflict with Beef fearing that the family is drifting apart, and you have the physical conflict of the elements which is actually drifting them apart. There's also a minor B plot, but I'm not really going to talk about it because I didn't find it that interesting. But aside from that, the A plot is definitely something to watch. So go check it out if you haven't already. Alright everyone, that was all for this short review of the Game of Snones adventure. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a wonderful day. This is Jack turning off the TV, see you all next time.